right, now we're going to install a standard Ospost T4850. This is for a regular 4x4 wooden post. There's a couple of methods for installing an Ospost. Um, the easiest way is to uh, drop a piece of uh, scrap wood in the post. Make sure it fits in smoothly. If it, if it doesn't, uh, you know, shave it down a little bit because you're going to have to be taking this back out to put in your post. So just drop it in. Pound it into the ground. Alternatively, like if you're doing just, uh, you know, five, maybe ten posts, sledgehammer is okay, especially if your ground is soft. Uh, if you're doing a larger project or your ground is particularly hard, I'd recommend using the uh, Oz hammer with the spacer. Drop the spacer into the post. Drop the Oz hammer in. Shoot the post to the ground. Put the post level on. There's several brands of post levels available. They're a common product for most uh, hardware stores. Just uh, strap it on and To start and stop very often so you're assured that you're driving the post in plug. Moving it with the jackhammer so you're plumb. Once you're about halfway in, the product's picked its course generally, so you can uh, just drive it on in the ground. Now here you have several options. Uh, option one is to leave the entire sleeve out of the ground. Option two, Put it in about halfway. This is a good recommendation uh, uh, to do. Also, if you don't want to see the sleeve at all, just bury it completely into the ground. For this installation, we're going to stop halfway. Drop the uh, wooden 4x4 in, make sure that it's in all the way. Now, depending on uh, your lot line, you may discover if you've driven the post in uh, incorrectly that it may be not straight with your lot line. You can fix that uh, very easily by just using a standard bar clamp. Again, this tool is available at any hardware store. And just bend it over so you have the straight line. Okay, now that you've got the post installed, you want to put your level on. You've got a little bit of uh, fine tune movement here so you can get it exactly plumb. So just hold it exactly where you want it. Sometimes it's kind of handy if you've got a gap here like we have. Just give it a little tap. The gap that's uh, developed here is just because 4x4s are vary in size, so tapping it in just makes it a little bit easier for the screws to pull it in tight.
now we have our post installed, it's level. Another option that's available is there's these larger holes at the bottom. Uh, it is recommended, if this is going to be a permanent installation, to go ahead and use a caulking gun, stick it in here, and give it one or two squeezes, and that'll fill this cavity up with adhesive, which will lock this post in through expansion and contraction throughout the life of the fence. Polyurethane glue is a good uh, option for this installation method. Of course, we could drive this Oz post completely flush with the ground and just use adhesive and a couple of screws if necessary. One advantage of this is because the sleeve is above the ground, and when your weed whacker goes by when you're cutting your grass, the uh, twine doesn't hit the post, it hits the steel which protects your wood post and makes them last much longer. Because the Oz post has no bottom, it's, the water can drain clear right through. This helps protect the wood post from premature rot.